Hi, this is Janelle from ERP Solutions. This presentation is an introduction to audits in our advanced quality solution for Dynamics 365 Operations Enterprise. Total Quality Control Management is a suite of features and is certified by Microsoft for Dynamics 365. It provides a solution to manage your products, vendors, customers, and processes through seamless integration. It supports international standards and is designed to fit a wide range of industries, including automotive, aerospace, medical devices, pharmaceutical, high-tech, and other manufacturers. Process and vendor audits can be automatically created and are called planned audits. Planned audits are predefined and are generated from schedules. These schedules are user-defined, allowing audits to be planned for daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. Recurring audits are also easily defined. When audits are manually created, they are called impromptu audits. Both vendor and process audits feature workflow and the status during each step of the process. From initial creation to completion, auditing is an integral part of Dynamics 365. Tim from our company will now take you through the process. Audits are performed from our quality menu selection and under the menu area commons. Selecting all audits will display all audits within the company I am logged into. Here you can see I have a combination of impromptu audits as well as planned audits that were automatically scheduled, along with audits that are in different stages of the process. Auditing supports both vendor and internal process audits. For this demonstration, I'll walk through a vendor audit and use an Excel template as part of the process. As I open the audit for the specific vendor, the audit was created using a template from a standard setup table. This includes several audit steps along with the result groups that provides the auditor with the result code that is required for each response. Each step also includes a description area that provides clear instructions for each step of the audit. The tab Observation is where the auditor will enter comments for each audit step. This audit was created from a standard template. Prior to the audit, we can edit the audit and bring in an alternative template with a new set of audit steps. This template includes steps that reference a specific aerospace standard. I'll set my vendor audit back to the default template and demonstrate the audit process. To begin, you simply select the button Start Audit. Once the audit is started, I can now edit the result code with the appropriate response to each step based upon the description and provide a comment under Observation. The next step has a different response group. This requires a response of either compliant or non-compliant. I'll select non-compliant, meaning that the step failed. Since non-compliant requires an action code, I'll select the action code as minor, meaning that it is a minor issue that would not require an escalation to either a non-conforming condition or a corrective action. In some cases, it may be more logical to use an Excel spreadsheet. This could be the case when you're on site at a vendor. Through a predefined office integration template, you can download a spreadsheet and open it in Excel. The spreadsheet will open and bring in the details including all required steps of the audit. You will note that the first two steps I completed in the audit table in Dynamics 365 came in as well. Now I can complete my audit right within Excel. I will fail step 3 by entering null no and select the action code kappa meaning that this step will be escalated to a corrective action. Since result codes and observations are required fields, I'll complete each field and pass the remaining steps by entering yes. The observation line is a text field that provides the ability to type in more commentary, but I'll just enter the comment passed for each passing step. Now that I have completed all steps, you simply select the publish button to push the results back into Dynamics 365. Once I return to Dynamics 365, I simply refresh the form to display the results from the spreadsheet, and you can see that all the result codes and observations were updated. In my example, I also have a Word template so that I can print a report. 
to simply select the Word template from the Office icon to download and open the file. The last step is to close the completed audit. The Validate button will ensure that all the required fields have been completed. The Post button will launch the e-signature form to sign off and close the audit. A message confirms that a corrective action has been created for the failed step. I can view that corrective action from the General tab in the button Corrective Action. This will display the corrective action associated to the failed step. In my environment, the responsible party was automatically assigned with the task for the appropriate corrective measures.